How are we doing, guys? Good, great. Let's uh, practice update status of uh, Smith and Collins. Uh, we don't anticipate either of them practicing today. Uh, they're making progress in their rehab. Hopefully, they can practice before the week's uh, over with. It's encouraging to see Tyron out there. He's doing some rehab work with Britt to think that he can get out there this week. Yeah, we'll see. Again, uh, those guys are working hard in their rehab and taking it day by day. So hopefully he has a good day today, and maybe we'll see him out of practice tomorrow. Is he more likely at this point than Collins? Yeah, again, just taking them day by day. Uh, you know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how they're doing. Both those guys are working hard to come back, and we'll see how they do today. What was Layton's situation yesterday? Is he good to go to get today? Yeah, he, he just ha has an illness and, uh, and just wasn't feeling well. And I think he's feeling better today, but we don't anticipate him practicing. Jason, um, one of the hallmarks of Dax uh, playing quarterback is he's seldom put the ball in jeopardy. Um, why do you think that seems to have changed given he's thrown an interception and Yeah, again, we talked about it yesterday. I think if you just look at the specific plays, uh, that's really how you have to evaluate it. Uh, the interception in New Orleans was a uh, jump ball at the end of the game. And, uh, and then we talked uh, in detail about the other ones that happened in the game the other day. So uh, I think you're right with your initial statement that he has been an outstanding decision maker since he's been our quarterback. And we anticipate him to be able to continue to do that. You. Your defensive guy say Rod tells him see a little, see a lot, see a lot, see a little. When you for a quarterback, is it a similar aspect, or is it, or is it the other way around, where you want to see a lot? If there's a, an analogy to make between the two. Yeah, I think I think the analogy probably holds. Uh, believing in Coach Marinelli's wisdom, you know, and really it's about knowing what to see. If you're trying to see everything and you don't have a clear understanding about what your vision. Uh, progression is you're going to have a hard time functioning as a quarterback in this league. So, you know, there's a whole thing that you go through once you break the huddle about where your eyes should go, uh, just in general, and then on specific plays. And if you're pretty, uh, if you're pretty clean with that progression, typically good things happen. Coach, how much do your thoughts go out for world champion boxer Errol Spence, being that he just had his car accident, he's in ICU, even though his injuries aren't considered to be life-threatening. Yeah, obviously, uh, I think everyone's thinking about him. Uh, I heard that news uh, this morning, and uh, he's certainly been a great champion, and our thoughts and prayers are with him. When you see it, when, when Amari has a game the way he's had, and he's had a couple of them with the 200 yards, I know it's not easy, but does he kind of make things look easy at all in your mind sometimes with how he plays? He's a really good football player, and uh, we, we've talked – a lot about how versatile he is and how he can uh, function very well, uh, both as an outside receiver and as an inside receiver. And then he can do things at all levels of the defense. He's a very good uh, route runner against zone. He's a very good route runner against man-to-man -man coverage. And he just has a really good feel and understanding of the game to go along with a lot of physical ability. So uh, he's a determined guy. He wants to be a great player, and he works very hard at it. So uh, I would agree that you know it's never easy for anybody. Uh, but, but certainly the best players make it look easier than most. You talked about his character, though. Yesterday, uh, he not only said he should have caught the pass that was intercepted, but he also kind of took blame for another interception and said he didn't, to, he didn't run his route right. You know, and I don't know if that's all the way true, but it's just an example of him trying to take responsibility. Yeah, he's an outstanding person. He's absolutely the right kind of guy and excited to get him here for a lot of different reasons. But. Uh, you know, he's been very successful at every at every juncture in his career. You know, as a high school player, as a college player, in the National Football League, and he's been uh, a great addition to our team. He's made a big impact on us, and uh, we love him as a guy. We love him as a player. Field position hasn't been what you probably hope to this point. I know part of it goes into creating more turnovers and that and sort, but just overall, how do you view that area for five games? Yeah, I think it's a team thing, and, and you said it. You know, Typically, if you take the ball away uh, on a fairly consistent basis, you're getting favorable field position. And, uh, and we haven't done that consistently well enough. Obviously, it's, it's a point of emphasis for us. We have to do a better job in that area. And I think if we do, you'll see those field position numbers uh, get better and better. Uh, without Leighton, how do you work the 
that spot? Is it Sean and Joe, or how, how, what's the? Yeah, breakdown? just all hands on deck. Uh, you know, those guys are versatile. They can play any of the spots. So uh, each of those guys took reps at each of the spots. You know, obviously Jalen has a big role in that, and uh, you know we, we give the other guys opportunities. Uh, March was out there a little bit yesterday. Uh, you know, each of those guys will get some chances at each of the spots. Given that he missed so much time as a rookie, what has Gifford looked like these last couple weeks? He's done a good job. Uh, you know, we'd love to get him up. Uh, we've had some some injury issues in other parts of our roster that have prevented that from happening. But you know, he's healthy. He's ready to go, and he's getting better every day. When Jason Witten came back, like you were saying, everybody sat down and talked about how it was going to be different. It was going to come off the field some. It wasn't going to be the same dynamic. Is he? played as much or more than you anticipated and how is that working with your rotation with Jarwin? Yeah, I think it's worked well. Uh, obviously, you know, Blake was banged up a little bit er earlier on, um, but, you know, I think it's gone well uh, in giving each of those guys opportunities uh, to play and hopefully play to their strengths. And, uh, you know, in some games, Witten's going to play a little bit less, Blake's going to play a little bit more in other games. Will play more. Blake will play a little bit less. Hopefully, we get some snaps for Dalton Schultz as well. So that hasn't been an issue. I think it's worked out well so far. Any updates on Antoine Woods and Tony Pollard's health status? Yeah, we anticipate Antoine practicing today, and, and Tony the same way. He's still coming off of the both the knee and the ankle from from the game the other day, but he looked good in practice yesterday. I know Tristan obviously has seen some of the field in recent games, but just when he's spectating, when he's away from the field. Where do you want his eyes in terms of how does he make the most of mental reps and what to watch when some of those veterans are working ahead? Talking about Tristan? Yeah. Yeah, j j just that. Uh, you want him locked in. You want him engaged. You want him watching the veteran players. Uh, you want him paying attention. You know, Rod has an expression called ear hustle. You want to hustle with your ear. You want to listen to what all the coaching is to everybody. That's a really important thing for our team. We talk about that a lot. And uh, mental reps, every rep is your rep uh, in practice or in games. You know, watching the guy who's playing your spot, break the huddle with him, go up to the line of scrimmage with him, go through the rep with him, hear the coaching afterwards. That's how you get better. The best players are able to do that. After the game, Dak described the way Michael Gallup, he said Michael Gallup has a look in his eyes when he walks the ball, and Dak can kind of see that on the field. How have you seen his demeanor evolve since he's joined you Oh, I just think he's gotten more and more confident the more he's played. And uh, he played a lot of football for us last year right from the start, and I think he did a good job. Uh, but the more he played, the more decisive he became. Uh, you saw more conviction in his play, and you saw him able to make more and more plays as he's gone on. He's a confident player. He believes he can win. Our quarterback believes he can win. He's made a lot of plays. When you have guys like Sean and Witten that have played a ton, rarely came off the field, and now they got to come off either some or not out there as much as in the past, do you have to have conversations with those guys to say, Hey, this is why we're doing that, or did they get that and understand it? Yeah, I think we've had those conversations with each of them, and uh, you know, in a lot of cases, it's it's to help them, to help them play their best, uh, take some snaps off of them in practice, take some snaps off of them in the game, maybe put them in a role uh, that they certainly can handle, uh, maybe give some other guys some opportunities, and uh, you know, those guys more than anything else are great team guys. They're great leaders. They lead by example, and that's just another example of that. You know, their willingness to do whatever we need them to do to help our team win. Thank you. All right. Good to see you guys.